This is Salamancer, you are watching Sal TV, and today I'm going to show you the Infernal Impaler and all the different ways you can wear it on the soldier. Actually, I'm going to show you a video game. And that video game is between the Super Friends and Slanted Eyebrows, which I gotta say is a pretty darn racist name, but you know what? <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. Um, anyway, they're getting out of the mid-fight here, and I'm working on... Okay, so well, actually, Melee did a really good jump in there. Uh, one kill for him, but is it going to work for his team? That's the question. Um, and actually, the super friends here are on the low ground. They're kind of pushing in a little bit. There you go. Nice kills by Huli there. Taking out Super Xlax and Peyote. So that's going to win the mid fight for the super friends quite easily. Uh, and now Captain Captain Dave. Dave here doing a really good job for the super friends of uh, wiping out Kirby, who was trying to defend the second point. Really a little overextended, in my opinion. Kirby could have fallen back a little bit. Uh, and if you'll notice, Super Xlax here for the Super Friends is now on... I'm sorry, for the Slanted Eyebrows. Wow, I am confused. Uh, Super Xlax here is on the Pyro. So they are expecting a full Uber to push in at any moment, so they want maximum uh, chaotic ability. They want to be able to keep that Uber out of the last point here on CP Gully Watch. By the way, this is ESCA Open, and... I had too much to drink, if you could not tell from this intro. So, uh, Xlax here is going to try and keep the medic from keeping the overheal, and there you go, he's done exactly that. Nonetheless, Captain Hooli gets in here and kills the medic. We've got Kirby trying to defend the point here, and yes, this is the old version of CP Gully Wash, so they are using the version with the water in it. Uh, kind of crazy, but Kirby's going to stay back here, and with only two players and one player now, that's going to be Hooli left alive. For the Super Friends, now zero. There is no way that they are going to get that point with Kirby standing there, especially. He did a great job on defense. Um, even though they lost their medic, they ended up defending very, very well. So, the Slanted Eyebrows are going to get their second point back here on CP Gullywash. What, you, what version is this? I don't even... I think it's just called CP Gullywash, actually, which is not the final version at all. Not the version that you were used to playing, I'm sure, on your uh, public servers or whatever else. Uh, Blarf here, though, doing some good spam here towards the red team. And look at the uber advantage. Even though Blarf just died, I mean, the uber advantage goes to the slanted eyebrows very clearly. Uh, as long as they can hold on to the midpoint here and keep their opponents spammed out of that choke point, they are going to be just fine and should be able to press their advantage. They've even got a player advantage right now, although Super x -Lax is on 6 health and needs to get the heals on him. Uh, so there you go. They are healing him up, and they're going to push straight through the garage. Nice, nice choice here. Let me see if I can't find the soldier... Uh, Ouija, who is pocketing right now and taking a lot of health. The Uber is popped for both teams, and actually popped just a little bit earlier for the blue team, but they're doing good damage here. Can they take out the Demo Man? Yes, they can. So Huli is down now, and without the Demo Man, I mean, you can't defend practically anything. So, uh, really good kill there by Ouija. Three health left, and he's getting the heals on him. Perfect, perfect mediking there as well. Uh, Peyote trying to keep his team alive. Mela and Dunce, the only two players left alive for the Super Friends. Mela is actually really <laughs> overextended. Ends up dying without getting any kills. Took down Mustard Overlord to about four health. But couldn't finish off the kill, and that's huge. There's going to be a big uber advantage for the Slanted Eyebrows. They could actually start pushing in right now, although they don't have a player advantage anymore. They could have pushed in there, done a lot of damage to their opponents, and then just backed out if they took too much damage, and they would have been fine. Anyway... They're going to push in here with a big uber advantage and probably will take this round as a result. Um, I just have to take this... This, I'm not even going to say that. That's a bad idea. I'm not going to say that. Um, <laughs> public service announcement. Salamancer is a little bit buzzed right now. Uh, but the Slanted Eyebrows pushing in from the left-hand side, which is a very common place to go. They are popping it on the Soldier first, because the Soldier's going to jump straight towards the Medic, try and kill him, or pop the Uber, or whatever. And then they're going to bring in Mustard Overlord to finish off and do a lot of damage here on the point. Uh, he's actually putting a bunch of stickies down, and there you go, he did finish off the Heavy Sheepy. Yeah, this is very easily Slanted Eyebrows round. I mean, they, they had an Uber advantage, they did great damage with it. There was not a lot of great defense there from the Super Friends, and what can they do against an Uber, right? So... Here we go. The slain eyebrows are going to push on to round two. Uh, somebody in the stream chat asking me if my pants are on yet, and the answer is absolutely not. As soon as I got home, they came off, and <laughs> they are, they are, no, no, I'm not wearing pants right now. Uh, Mustard Overlight setting up some, some really defensive stickies here, and he could do a lot of damage to that soldier. I think he's going to end up getting the kill there, or at least going to help his, uh, actually they didn't 
didn't get that kill, interestingly enough. Finally, Mela goes down. Surprised that they couldn't get the kill earlier on that, but the, the, the stickies there from our demo man, Mustard Overlord, were so defensive. He didn't really stop the red team from going anywhere. He just tried to defend himself, and I'm surprised by that. It, of course, means that Slanted Eyebrows win this, this mid-fight. Um, Mustard Overlord stayed alive, and the rest of his team stayed alive, too. They ended up getting a lot of kills on the Super Friends, but those those kills were not really enabled by Mustard Overlord. He was too busy setting up stickies just to trap and defend himself rather than trying to hold off a point like the garage or, or, or prevent the enemies from moving through that without taking damage. So I'm surprised that Slanted Eyebrows won the mid-fight. It must have just been a weird, you know, bad rollout or something from the Super Friends that I completely missed. Blarf jumping up here to the high ground and trying to protect that for his team as well. And once again, I think the Slanted Eyebrows are going to come up to a 2-0 lead here. Yeah, the Ubers are even. Uh, so it's all up to the Super Friends on how they defend, but right now they have two scouts, which is not the greatest defensive setup. They, I guess they're hoping that they get a couple kills and then are able to push out on that, which right now they've gotten one so far. Uh, Kirby is down, and uh, I used to play Super Smash Bros. Brawl all the time. Kirby is down was a very common feat for me until I started just... I actually started playing heavy characters nonstop because I thought they were hilarious. I, <laughs> I would play, like, Donkey Kong and Ganondorf and, like... Ike and King DDD because they are hilarious to play. If you get a kill with them, you just like laugh at somebody's face and you're just like, yeah, you died. We've got a sniper right now from the Slanted Eyebrows. Uh, he is walking up towards the point. He did die, and really that was kind of the point, was he, he actually suicided in there. See, you know, see if you can get a kill, get a pop out of the medic. If you can't, that's okay. Got to come back up on the sniper and then try to make something happen. And he is going to do just that, although... He's been spotted now, so really the whole the whole surprise of having the sniper is gone, but if he's charged up all the way, wow, how did he not hit that medic who is standing still? I don't know. You tell me. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little weird. But okay, so he is now peeking on the left-hand side. Can he get the shot off here? Because really that's what Slanted Eyebrows are waiting for. They're waiting for the one shot that will take out an enemy, especially if they can kill the medic. But even if they can, if they can just kill one damage class, Always looking for the Medic right now. Medic is behind the pillar. Very good positioning here by uh, Combat Toast from the Super Friends. So he did deal a little bit of damage there, but that's all going to get healed right back up. It doesn't matter. What matters is if he can get a pick. If they can, if they can make it into a 6-on-5 situation, then they're going to be okay with pushing in. But until then, they've got a Sniper, which really, it, it's a pick class. If you can't get picks with it, then pushing in is a terrible, terrible idea, because what are you doing? I mean, you're, you're going in 5 on 6, and oh, you have a Sniper, but what damage is he going to do? Are you kidding me? He's actually going to go around to the back of the point. This is something I've never seen a Sniper do. Well, maybe the Super Friends won't, won't recognize this, but no, he just walked onto the point. That was, wow. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work very well because he walked onto the point and immediately forced the attention onto the point, and he's a class with 125 health, so he died. Um, so Kirby's probably going to come back as something different, and there he, he does try something different. Uh, he is instead going to try the Spy, so we'll see if that works. Blarf doing some good spam in here, not dealing a heck of a lot of damage, but he's just, at the very least, trying to force his opponents into a weird position where they have to be constantly dodging spam. And if you're constantly dodging, you know, that's taking away from your mental processing power and everything else, so... Yeah, spam is good, is my point. Kirby is already in here, uh, using the cloak and dagger, so he's gonna be cloaked the entire time. Nobody's really gonna notice he's... Whoa! Watch that, because the spam here right now... I think they've actually... Yeah, they've noticed there's a spy there, so... That didn't work at all either, and now, what is Slanted Eyebrows gonna do? They've got a couple more opportunities to push in. They could, if they wanted to, bring Kirby up as a heavy. And that's probably what I would do, is I would say, okay, we've tried the assassination stuff, we haven't gotten any kills yet, and exactly, Kirby's trying everything right now, and <laughs> there he goes, he comes in as a heavy. Great idea. The reason for that, of course, and, and, you know, maybe his opponents will be expecting that, but the reason for pushing in with a heavy is that if you can't get the kills before you push in, just bring in a whole bunch of health, and that way, once you've Ubered in, once, you, you, once you've gotten in there, you just kind of hope that you can get the kills with the Uber. So now they've Ubered in, they're going to bring in the Soldier, they're, they're going to force the enemy's Uber, then they're going to bring in the Heavy, and they're going to say, here, here, Heavy, go ahead and try to get the kills. Ouija didn't get the kills. Where's the Heavy? Where is the Heavy? Where is he? Where is he? Is he already dead? He's already dead. Okay, so it didn't work at all. <laughs> but at least it was a good try by Slanted Eyebrows. They tried to get in there with the Uber. The problem is they didn't back out once they realized it wasn't working, and so now... Great defense by the Super Friends. They stopped the assassination classes both times. They stopped the sniper, they stopped the spy, and then they stopped the heavy. They stopped that 
that big push there by the slanted eyebrows. So now, now the super friends can push all the way up here with an uber advantage because they even stopped their. their I think they might have killed Peyote. I didn't even catch that. My apologies if I am just a little bit uh, too too inebriated to catch every single kill on the kill board. But um. But no, the, there's a big uber advantage for the super friends, so they can now push on this, and they will be able to take the middle point without much difficulty. If they can kill Peyote here, that's what they want, but no, they've just popped their uber, and they can't kill the opposing medic, so they're going to hold on to the middle point here, but their opponents can just push in after the uber is over, and that's exactly what they're doing. We see Ouija rushing in here, not even with an overheal right now, but the medic is going to catch up with him, and the super friends have to back away from this, because if they don't, they're just going to get ubered onto, they're going to lose their medic, they're going to lose everything. And so instead, they're going to back through the choke point. They're going to try and force their opponents to uber before they get through that choke. But right now, they actually haven't done that. And look at this. Three versus six. The super friends have really lost that exchange. They Maybe they were a little bit too greedy. Um, but really, the answer is that when they made that push onto the middle point, they couldn't force their opponents to uber. They couldn't kill the medic. And then they just lost all their positioning, and their players were out of position. So I just hiccuped. But the point is, slanted eyebrows now have a an uber advantage, and if they're quick, if they push in the last right now, no, it's a little bit too late now. They could have actually pushed in without their opponents even having an uber. Um, as it is now, are they bringing an offensive pyro? This is so weird. The, I, I can't wait to see what happens here, because Super x lax on offensive pyro, really what that means is that they want to push in and not immediately pop the uber. They want to blast away sticky traps and stop spam. That's really what you use a pyro for, is the air blast. Um, so they're going to use that air blast to reflect all the rockets, reflect all the stickies away from their medic, and they're going to try to hold on to this uber for as long as possible, I think. I, unless maybe they just want to use super x lax for like the, the ultra close range damage. I don't know, that doesn't make a lot of sense if they're going to do that. So we'll, we'll see what they use this for. This is a weird move on offense. I have never seen an offensive... Well, I've seen it once, but that was only when they had an uber disadvantage. Anyway, no, the uber's in immediately. They're gonna just use Super x -Lax. No, they're gonna get him onto the point, and then air blast his opponents away from the point. Didn't work very well. It was a good try. Okay, so I'm way behind. They tried to air blast their opponents off the point. Now they've just got Kirby in here trying to deal damage to the medic, which is not a bad idea, but he's gonna end up dying here pretty soon, unless everybody else just dies. Good damage, but no, he did die, and good defense by the Super Friends means they should be able to stay alive here, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're holding on to their last point again, so really good defensive play all around this round from the Super Friends. It's just, can they convert it into an offense? But the point of the Pyro, getting back to that, was, uh, maybe, I, maybe I've already explained this properly, maybe I don't even need to, but I'm going to anyway because I'm uh, a little, little out of it. Uh, that they wanted to get him onto the point and then air blast his opponents off. Wow, Combat Toast going for the Uber Saw. Didn't manage to get it, so good kill by Super x -Lax. Uh It's going to give his team a slight Uber advantage. Oh, actually, this could be the round here. Taking out the Demo Man and the Medic, that's probably going to be it. Uh, Slants of Eyebrows should win this just by default. He's find one of there. Yes, Ouija is, is here with his friendly soldier. They're just going to try and build that Uber up. They actually haven't. They didn't send anybody back for Peyote. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. But, uh, no, the point is they they're, they they could have built an uber advantage and they don't have it. I was talking about the pyro, but I think you, I think I've made my point. I don't need to anymore. They've got an assassination clash again, and they have peyote on the crits creek. That's a weird combination, but it could work. If they can get Kirby to get a pick, which he's trying to do right now, going for the scout, not even going to hit that scout. And, they, of course, now the, the super friends, they know the sniper here. They're going to try and spam him and kill him. But the point is... They're going to have this this uber advantage with the Kritzkrieg, and they're probably going to pop it on the Demo Man. So here we go. Very soon, Mustard Overlord is going to have his crits. But look at how close these ubers are, actually. If they don't pop it immediately, then there's going to be a, a uber for the Medic. And there you go. Combat Toast, so close, 99%, and he gets it. So that uber is going to completely negate the crits Uh Three players left alive here for the Super Friends. That's two soldiers and a medic. Very formidable. But they... Oh, nice shot by Kirby. They don't have a demo man to sticky up the point anymore. And so if anybody gets on that point, they really can't be stopped right now. Kirby ends up body shotting that soldier to death. It's just Kirby versus the scout. Nice headshot on Sheepy. But now there's been two more spawners and Kirby gets taken out there. He had at least two kills. So that was valuable but they didn't have anybody else. Like, they didn't have the picks necessarily. They didn't have the damage on the field. So the Slanted Eyebrows team here in blue could not capture the point, 
even though they got so many awesome kills, they just they only had a sniper left, and he couldn't get on the point without. Whatever, he couldn't get on the point. <laughs> that's uh, that's the extent of my communication skills tonight. I just killed by Dave, by the way. Um, and that's really just going to slow down the push, if anything, from Slants and Eyebrows, or make it possible for the Super Friends now to push out to second. We'll see if they can actually do that in a 6-on-4 situation. They have to be very wary of the bat caps. Uh, right now, the Demo Man, and that's going to be... Oh, once again, Kirby gets a good kill, and second... Wow, okay, so he's gotten two kills. The Super Friends have to back off now. There's a third kill. The Slanted Eyebrows should win this round. They... <laughs> I like that. But no, they should definitely win this round. There is almost... And there goes the Quits Krieg as well. On the Demo Man, there's going to be Quits Tickies all over the place. Kirby going for the shots. Can't hit them quite yet. And actually, those Quits Tickies have not got any kills right now. And there's the Uber. Somehow that Quits Krieg completely failed, which it really shouldn't have, but it did. And now the Super Friends could push out again. Melee here doing some good damage to his opponents. Can they kill the Medic? Maybe not, but it doesn't even matter. They've done so much damage. Yes, they have killed Peyote. Now every bit of damage they deal is golden as any soldier who takes damage, soldier demo, sniper, whatever, they're going to have to run back to a health kit to, to heal it up. And of course, the Super Friends are probably going to try and hold on to all those health kits. I don't know. Every single thing they do here is great for them now. But can they push out? So far, they haven't even gotten any time on the point yet. And if they don't get any time on the point, Kirby's going to start going on a rampage again. As a result, the Super Friends will end up losing the round just because if Kirby gets all these points and gets all these kills, uh, that's... I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> No, they will end up winning the round just because uh, the Super Friends will lose their Uber, lose their player advantage, and slight, you know the Slanted Eyebrows will gain a huge advantage there. So far, there is an Uber advantage for Combat Toast, but he can't use it because they're all backed up on this, their last point again. And there's too much of a fear of a bat cap for them to try and push out, or there's too much of a risk that the Uber will fail for them to try to push out. So they, they have to stay on their last point right now. And really, if they wanted to, I mean, they, they really should have gone with like a heavier... Uh, an engineer or something turtly, just so that when the slanted eyebrows make their push, they're they're going to wipe out most likely. Uh, Kirby here. Oh, here comes the Uber actually from the slanted eyebrows and Blarf going out of the point. Gotta be careful with this, and he does get taken out. Good Uber and good kill by Dunce to uh, to stop the cap on the point. But look at this five versus three right now. Slanted eyebrows with the five combat toast. Look for somebody to heal. He really should just be out there. You go pull out the needles, but it was too late. And that is 2-0 for the Slanted Eyebrows. So this is looking like a great game so far. It hasn't... I want to call it close, but it really hasn't been that close. It's really been the Slanted Eyebrows on offense almost the whole time. They've won all their mid-fights. It's almost never been the Slanted Eyebrows defending anything. It's always been them on the attack. And Mustard Overlord here is going to start laying down those defensive stickies again. He did lay down one offensive sticky. And Mela getting some crazy kills here. Actually... All of the Super Friends getting a bunch of kills. Peyote trying to back out here. He's going to have a 4% uh, speed buff, but that's not enough to save him from Dave. So Dave ends up getting the kill there on the Medic. And he's going to stay back to do the capturing on mid, while Huli and the rest of his team push forward onto second. Huli setting up some sticky traps here really far forward, just in case the uh, blue team here, Slanted Eyebrows, tries to push back out onto that point. They, uh, they're going to have some trouble. And so Huli does end up having a detonate. Doesn't get any kills with that, but at the very least, he's shutting down avenues of attack for Slanted Eyebrows, and that's a great thing to do. Uh, a little bit of an exchange there. Mela taking out Mustard Overlord. Mustard Overlord taking out Mela. Both of them get some good kills. Sheepy here outside the point. What was Blarf doing there? I don't even know. Maybe going for the medic or something, but Sheepy right. found him and guarded that flank really well. Captured. And now, even though the Super Friends wasted their Uber and are kind of backing away from this, they still own mid. They got a couple of good kills. There's really no reason that Slanted Eyebrows should be able to take mid for very long. They might take it once they get their Uber, which is probably what they're going to do. They're going to send EG out there, jump the enemy medic, whatever. But as long as the Super Friends back away from the middle point, they should be fine. They did actually just got a kill on a scout, so yeah, they'll be fine. And it, Slanted Eyebrows could have pushed with their Uber advantage. I'm not even sure if they realized they had an advantage, because they didn't push with it. They didn't even try to take the middle point. So there you go. Uh, the Super Friends will be in a nice position to at least hold on to mid, and actually they're being really aggressive. Once they've got 100%, they've just said, no, screw it, we're going to attack. Who's getting out here and uh, cutting off the retreat avenue for Slanted Eyebrows? Is anybody going to walk through this door 
is the question. No, they're actually not. They're going to try and defend the point with the Uber. And uh, can they do it? Look at how low the health is on everybody on Slanted Eyebrows right now. Their medic is so low. Can they take him out? Uh, Peyote is being defended right now by actually both his soldiers. And no, they can't. The Super Friend is just wiped out on that attack. So Slanted Eyebrows grabbing the middle point. And yes, they are capping over here. Surprising turn of events because I really thought the, the Super Friends had that. I really thought that they were going to take that game and at least take the round. And instead, Slanted Eyebrows now look in a very strong position. They've got a good Uber advantage. Um, they will at least be able to take second. Pushing into last will be a bit harder, but once again, I mean, we, they've had so many attempts to take out that last point that uh, they should be good. I'm going to call it right now. I think Slanted Eyebrows are pro probably going to take this round, even though every time I call anything, it is wrong. So hopefully I don't jinx that. I don't even remember who sent me this game. Somebody sent me this game and they were like, cast this. I don't remember who it was. Uh, so uh, I have no idea who wins this. And there you go, the Uber coming out here from Slants and Eyebrows. Uh, they were already in a very nice position. There you go, Kirby got a great kill there on Sheepy. He ends up getting taken down, but already the Super Friends are in a bad spot here as they could lose their middle, middle point, a uh, second point. It's the second point. Blarf goes for a killer on the medic, actually can't get it. Now it's just Mustard Overlord. What is he doing right now? He's getting pressured by a scout. So he kills Dave, but Dave kills him too. A uh, nice little exchange there. And Dave apparently hates stickies. Uh, I love stickies because when I'm on pub server, I play Demo Man. And, uh, you know, right click, left click, all that. It's, <laughs> it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You deal so much damage and you don't hardly even have to aim at all. But not to take away from these guys because they actually, it, it does take a lot of skill to be a really great demo man. And, and both of these guys seem like they're doing a great job. Cooley and Mustard Overlord, both of them are actually not leading the pack, but they are probably leading in damage. And that's what really matters. Uh, the Super Friends, once again, and this is, of course, making me eat my words, but the Super Friends have middle point. They're pushing on a second. They have an uber advantage. Can they get the kills, though? They've lost three players on this. Why did they lose three players? That's bad. That's just not good. Um, and Combat Toast, the last... Okay, that's just a mistake. Um, so what they should have done on that attack is pop their Uber and not lost their players. But then, okay, so they lost three players. Then what they should have done is on defense, when they backed away, Combat Toast should have been the first person to back around that corner. Instead, he was the last person to back around that corner, which makes him an easy, easy target. And of course that caused the Uber to be forced, and now Slanted Eyebrows are on a huge offensive streak. They've got a big Uber advantage, a big player advantage. They're going to push all the way to last, and I, I just don't see anything Super Friends can do. That was a huge series of mistakes there by the Super Friends that was completely avoidable. If they had just popped their Uber a little bit earlier. Um, completely avoidable. And now Slanted Eyebrows are going to push in the last point, so i got to say, I don't normally get this critical of teams. Um, and it's really because I don't normally have this much alcohol, but uh, there was a lot that the Super Friends could have done there to make a much better round, and hopefully they, they fix that in the second half, because this half is all but over. Uh, the, the slanted eyebrows have their Uber, they just have to push into last, and as long as they don't completely screw this up, they've got the round. We will, uh, we will see what happens. Uh, although Mustard Overlord is apparently watching my stream, and he's he's telling me that he's still 90% sure they lose this round. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if he's right or not. Um, we will see. Here comes the Uber right now. It's going to pop in. And actually, they waited way too long on this. That is, if they lose this round, it's because they waited too long. They could have pushed in a lot sooner. They could have taken advantage of this Uber. And instead, yeah, they just lost almost all their players already. So, wow, they should have pushed in sooner. Okay, well, okay, it's ESEA open. Yes, there are going to be mistakes, and you can point them out. These guys are still good players. They can improve. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that attack didn't work at all. So, the slanted eyebrows pushed all the way to last, took advantage of their opponent's mistakes, made a mistake of their own, and now we'll see what happens. The, uh, uh... The Super Friends here, Team Red, probably, no, probably going to lose their medic with 64% Uber, which kind of sucks. Super XX gets taken out. Um, it's two on two right now with, I don't even know who's going to win this. Actually, now I do. It's going to be Slant Eyebrows. No, I don't. It's it's going to be going to win this Soldier Deathmatch battle. Four health versus 39. There you go. Blarf wins it. 
Way to go, Blarf. Uh, you're the last man standing. So he's going to push on a second. Start capping once again. But he won't be able to get this capture by himself. Uh, because the super friends are going to start pushing out here and pressuring him. There you go, they are here right now. Good pressure, actually good counter pressure, I should say, by the blue team. They bring a scout in here. They bring, yeah, they've actually caught a lot of the super friends out of position. And it doesn't matter because they just got wiped out. So what am I talking about? I don't even know. Uh... Yeah, so when people hand you random drinks and you're at a bar, it's probably a bad idea to take those drinks. I just want you to all to know that. That you should probably ask what's in them before you start start drinking. Because, wow. <laughs> it's been like ha It's been an hour and a half since I had that. Anyway, uh, the Super Friends do capture midpoint once again. At least I'm not slurring my words like I did when I had that drinking game with, with Greg. That was... Entertaining, I'm sure. Um, Super Friends capture mid once again, and they've got an Uber advantage, so why aren't they pushing with it right now? I mean, they're not in position to, but they should be in position to, so get up there, push that Uber advantage, and they have popped the Uber now. They are in on top of the enemy medic. Can they get the kill? Not yet. Dunce is doing some good damage here. Actually, takes out much Oh Lord. Takes out Ouija, wow! And with 37 health left, he's going to have to back out a little bit, but uh, his scout is probably going to finish that damage up. And yes, there you go. Peyote is down from Sheepy. Nice kill to clean that up there, Sheepy, uh, helping finish off the damage that I think that was Dunce, or maybe it was Mela. One of the soldiers did. Dunce already on last point, and the only man left alive here is Kirby. Uh, the rest of the team spawns, but it's too late. That's two to one for the Super Friends, so what a back and forth round. This has been, uh, despite all the crappy casting, this has been a very exciting game, so hopefully you stick with me for the rest of this, because uh, hopefully it comes down to the wire. Uh, there is three minutes left in the half, so the question is, in the next three minutes, can somebody score, or are we going to go to calf half time? Ca calf time? Is that like where you, I don't even know, have baby cows? Anyway, half time with two to one as the score. Very possible. Mela just got taken down. Combat Toast, very low health, but nobody finishing him off just yet. Nobody really in position to, and Dunce, meanwhile, doing some good damage to the Demo Man. He's getting most of that healed up by the Medic, um, but there you go, Mustard Overlord taking down Dunce with five health left, reloading all of his rockets. Does that even matter? He's going to start spamming away, but, I mean, he could get taken down so fast. Uh, Peyote gets his 100% Uber alive. Slanted Eyebrows, if they can just get a couple more key kills here. They've taken out Dunce and Sheepy. Well done. They've they need to push now, 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 and they need to not pop their Uber while they're pushing. That's the key. Save that Uber until the last point. They're not pushing yet, so they may not take this round, and that's uh, that's going to be... Yeah, that's on them. You know, I mean, they, they have a big advantage. They need to start capping immediately, and they're not doing that yet. I mean, they're playing methodically, trying to keep their medic alive, but the longer they wait, the closer combat toast gets up to his foot on the red team. And look at the defense there by the Super Friends, getting two kills, forcing the Uber out of slants and eyebrows. Uh, they might lose a couple players here, but they've already gotten three kills, so it's already worth it. And Kirby here could maybe go huge, but it's going to be one against three, basically, for damage classes. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to get anything done right now, so great defense by the Super Friends. They've killed Peyote as well. Um, they need to stop Kirby from getting this back cap. And here comes the soldier to do just that. Kirby realizes, oh crap, I'm being stopped. So now, there you go, Super Friends. How much time is left? Probably about a minute and a half. Um, oh, they had to pop the Uber because Blarf jumped in. So that's pretty much going to be the half. I think it's going to end 2-1. to one. Uh, Super Friends could potentially capture the second point. But capturing last is going to be almost impossible. Well, they're getting a bunch of kills. They really are. So if Dave can cap this and the rest of the team can push in right away, are they going to do that is the question. I don't know. They really should, though. Push into that last point. Now they have to deal with a heavy who's just spawned and is probably in a great position. Let's see where Kirby is right now. Kirby. And they have to deal with the Pyro as well. Super X likes on the Pyro. Kirby standing behind that little... Yeah, there's almost no way to win this round. So uh, it's probably going to go to halftime. And I kind of want to watch the pyro cam because we don't get to see it off pyro cams in 6v6. Uh, the Uber is... Well, there is no Uber. Basically, the, the force is incoming, but Super X lacks great reflect kill on Mela, and that's already shutting it down so that basically there's no way for this round to be won. It's going to end at halftime at 2-1 to one unless something absolutely insane happens. Um, and nothing insane is going to happen. So here comes the Uber. 
Good reflect there by Super X Lax. He's just basically trying to hold this off as long as possible. He actually gets some of the Uber. Gonna use that to deal as much damage as possible. And there's an Uber heavy on the point. So, no. Super Friends won't be able to capture this before time is up in the round. And then we're gonna head to halftime here with 2 to 1 in favor of the Science of Eyebrows. With Kirby just standing on the point, calling good half without even saying, What is he doing? Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's good half. So, 2-1. to one. Nicely done by both teams, but Slanted Eyebrows in the lead. And we had a great halftime talking in the stream chat, so if you guys haven't followed me on twitch.tv slash fatmop yet, do give a thought to that, because uh, you get to hear every single thing that's going through my head, even more so than when I'm casting a video game. But right now, of course, you see Slanted Eyebrows are now in red. They have swapped sides. That's just what happens here. Gully Wash is a perfectly symmetrical map, but there are plenty of maps that aren't, and swapping sides just kind of makes it more fair. Uh, so it's just standard. Blarf here actually taking his opponent's med pack, so Slanted Eyebrows already in a good position. They've forced the enemy medic into the choke point here, and good backing out by Blue Team. I'm kind of surprised they were allowed to back out there. And what is going on here? Um, really, Slanted Eyebrows, they control mid. Why are they letting their opponents even... There you go. Now, now the Super Friends have backed out, so... That's what they gotta do. Uh, can the Super Friends hold on the second? Yes, they should be able to. They just gotta get the reinforcements in position. And they are holding the high ground right now. They've almost got the Uber ready to go. So yeah, it's, uh, they're just fine here. They will do it for in a second. Um, one overextended soldier already here. That's gonna be Blarf. Let me get on his camera. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't been taken out yet, but I guess nobody really forcing that situation. So he gets away. And you'll notice that Blarf here, he's playing the Roaming Soldier perfectly. He doesn't want to take heals away from his medic, so he's going to go find health kits. And that's exactly what he's done. He's gotten himself back up to 200 health without touching his medic. His medic wants to be healing up the core classes, the pocket, the demo man, maybe a scout to just go be, be aggressive. But anyway, here comes the Uber from both teams, and Sheepy immediately taking down the Super Friends here, already not having great luck with Super. They've, they have killed two players, though, and so maybe in the cleanup they can get some kills, but Super x -Lax is doing the cleanup himself, as is Mustard Overlord. So, no, Saints and Eyebrows hold on to the middle point very effectively, and are looking to push with their, their slight player advantage here. Uh, they should be able to get on the second. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. And are there any opponents in position to try and defend from the high ground? No, there are not. That's going to be Sleepy here, I think, just trying to peek out there. But he won't be able to stop the capture. No, the uh, second point is already captured by Slanted. And so this could very quickly go to 3-1. to one. Bearing in mind right now, it's 2-1 to one in favor of Slanted Eyebrows. So the Super Friends here are in kind of a bad position. They have lost most of the fights in this game. Melee just grabbing some extra ammo there. What is couponbug.com? I don't even know. Somebody tell me. <laughs> it sounds like a coupon site, I guess. Anyway, uh, Slants and Eyebrows losing a couple players here. They did uh, pop their Uber, but they just lost a player under the water. Dunce, of course, even though, uh, even though Dave just took out Super x -Lax, now, of course, the Super Friends realize that Dave is down there, so they've gotten that kill. And great defense, once again, by our blue team now, the Super Friends. They've been good on defense. They haven't been perfect, of course, because they've given up two points, but they've been good. They've been really solid. Um, the question is just, how are they going to do on offense? If they want to win this game, they need to stop making so many mistakes and stop overextending on offense. So... Dunce has now found his medic. He's going to start playing that pocket soldier once again. Possibly. Actually, I think it's Mela who's pocket. Right? We'll see. Dunce here dealing some damage to that scout. He managed to get away with actually a lot of reflex. So he's going to be fine. Roaming soldier, Blarf, tried to uh, get a couple kills and couldn't do it. And Mustard Overlord's down as well. So here's the thing. The Demo Man is down. The Super Friends say, oh, there's no more sticky traps. So we can just walk straight through this jug point. No worries at all. And that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, I got a kill on Super x -Lax already. And why is the red team even in that choke point? They should be really, really far back here. Uh, I guess the answer to why they're there is that they just like taking the damage, and they like losing their medic, because that is what happened. Uh, they, they just lost their medic and almost all of their team. Uh, yeah, once they realized their demo was down, really what should have happened there was Slanted Eyebrows should have said, no, we got to get back now, and 
really like retreat until our demo man is ready to set up some sticky traps somewhere again. And they didn't do that, and as a result, you can see, I mean, they lost all their players. They've got a severe Uber disadvantage. Here comes the Uber right now. From the Super Friends. Good, I mean, good Pyro reflecting, but is that going to be enough? No. Pyro's dead. Uh, there goes the second kill on Peyote. There goes, yeah, once you've gotten the one or two kills at the beginning, you've got more players on the field, you've got more damage capability, and that's just about the end of the round here. One player left, it's Ouija. Look at the respawn times, though. If they can't get on here, well, they can, so it's too late. Um, one more second, they would have gotten a couple of respawns, but even after that, you need about five seconds after the respawn to really get in position to try and stop the capture, so... No, Santa Eyebrows lost that round. They, uh, it was their round to win. They had won the mid-fight, they were pushing, and then they just started overextending with one one or two players at a time. They got their players lost, and then they, they lost their medic, and they lost their demo man in a really key position, and they lost that round. So, can they fix that? We'll find out. Uh, Ouija here, doing some good damage and helping his team finish off at least two players. They're both soldiers, actually, for the Super Friends. And once you lose your soldiers, especially at a mid-fight that's as tiered as this, where you really need the capability to jump effectively. You lose your soldiers on Gully Wash, I mean, you're toast. You just have to leave. So that's exactly what they did. Good decision by the Super Friends to get out of there. Um, but of course, that's going to give up the second point as well to Slant to the Eyebrows. So even though they made the right decision, uh, now they're pushing in here. They lost their demo. They've lost a couple players. Got a couple kills here, too. But this is really risky right now. Slants and Eyebrows are pushing their opponents back into spawn. So no, the Super Friends, they took a risk here to try and defend the second point. They failed. Um, they do have a bit of an uber advantage. So it really didn't, you know, wasn't too terrible. As, as long as they didn't lose their medic and they can keep building that uber, they're okay. And so their risk sort of paid off. It, it would have paid off more if they could defend the second, got a couple kills, and forced their opponents back on a mid. But at least they didn't lose the entire round yet. They've gotten Uber ready to go, almost, and they're going to have it before their opponents, so... They're they they they're in position to at least defend properly, is my point. So, now they just need to do the, the normal, you know, mechanical stuff, like spamming their opponents. They've gotten one kill here on Kirby. Kirby may come back up once again as, like, a sniper or a spy or something crazy. Um, very common to see when you're trying to push into that last point. You know that no longer, you know, no longer is mobility really the key factor. Like, you look at the makeup of a 6v6 team, right? And really the key factor most of the time is you want mobility, because you want to be able to put that damage anywhere on the field. That's why you have soldiers who can rocket jump, and that's why you have demo men who can sticky jump, and scouts who are just really super fast all the time. You want to make sure that you have that mobility. The Uber is actually popped here on Dunce really early. I guess just to try and force Uber and see if they can't get a kill or two out of Slant's eyebrows, but that's not what's happened, and now they're going to lose around because they just lost all their players. That was a weird decision. I don't know why they did it. Don't ask me. I am not them. And I don't. But normally, the point of, of a 6v6 is that you want not just to be able to deal high damage, but to be able to deal high damage to an opponent who is fast and trying to get away from you. So you have to be able to be mobile. But when you're pushing into a last point or defending a last point, you don't necessarily have to be mobile because you know where your enemies are going to be and you know you don't have to cover a lot of ground, except on a map like Granary where it's you have to cover crazy amounts of ground. But on Gravel Pit, there's not a lot of ground to cover. So the point is, you can use classes like Pyro, Heavy, Sniper, Engineer, you can use all those off classes that you don't normally see because they're more geared towards dealing high damage or controlling space or whatever. And and so you get to see more crazy stuff. Slanted Eyebrows, once again, pushing really effectively. And Mustard Overlord in such a great position to get great kills here. Can't quite finish him off yet. Actually didn't deal a lot of damage, and he could have dealt a lot more. Um, could have actually forced Uber there. So he missed his stickies. That is really too bad for his team because he, I mean, he got in such a great position now that he could have completely won the round for his team, and instead now there's an uber advantage for the Super Friends. Not blaming him necessarily, but just like, what a missed opportunity right there for his team. Uh, but the Super Friends, yo, I hope there's still a yo after their team name. No, there isn't. That's too bad. But the Super Friends here are pushing on to mid once again. And they've taken out Kirby, so they already have a player advantage, they've got an uber advantage. And Slanted Eyebrows have actually played this correctly. They have dropped their medic way back. Um, they're getting pressured here by Mela. 
but it doesn't matter. Melee got taken down. The Uber is in right now, but there's only four players left for each team, and there you go. Great Uber management and health management there by Peyote, just barely staying alive until he got the Uber ready to go. Dunst jumping around like a crazy man and ends up getting taken down. And now, Captain T Combat Toast here. Sorry, I, I keep saying Captain because that's their tag. Obviously, it's their tag. Wow, there was definitely something in that drink other than alcohol. I gotta say, guys, I, I apologize for the quality of this cast, but the Super Friends here have tried to take mid, and instead they've gotten repulsed by their opponents. The Science and Eyebrows have done a really good job of holding on to that point. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. I... Yes, they have. And now they're pushing on to their opponent's second. Um, so once again, it's already... 3-2 to two in favor of the Slanted Eyebrows, and they are in a position to bring it up to 4-2 to two here pretty soon. Uh, not an uber advantage, really, per se. And they don't have a player advantage now either, so they're going to have to make this uber work in their favor. Really what they could do is pop the uber early, send a soldier in, force the enemy pop, or alternatively, not even pop it, send the soldier in, force the enemy pop, um, so let's see what happens here with... Uh, actually, they've sent in a scout to try and force the pop. Didn't work. So, Combat Toast actually has 150 health. He is perfectly fine right now. The the blue medic is not in any trouble. And so, you know, the, the slanted eyebrows, I'm sorry, have to wait for a bit. Super Friend's actually sending Dave out here to try and flank. This is an interesting move because you got to be careful with this. He did just deal some damage, and, and now they know that he's out there. got to be careful with this. Ah, he's gonna die there. Didn't really get a lot of damage done. He, I might have killed Blarf, actually, but that's just about it. Didn't make anything happen really effectively. And Kirby now coming up on the sniper once again. Can he get the sniper this time around? Nope. Already he's been spotted, he's been spammed, and so that's not gonna work for him. He'll try and do some damage here. Maybe he does body shot the scout to death, which if he charge that up to full... Oh, nice! He's got two kills now on Mela as well. So that's really going to be what they need there. They are pushing in here with the Uber right now. Uh, Dunce takes the Uber in return from the Super Friends. And actually, Super Friends really have a decent chance of defending this as long as they can keep their stickies in the point. No! Slanted Eyebrows get the kills that they need to win their round, and it's now 4-2, to two, I think favor of our blue team here. Yes, it is. The slanted eyebrows. Quite a uh, politically incorrect name for a team, but hey, what are you going to do? They are currently winning this game and just need one more point to put it away. So we will find out what they do. Ouija jumping up and already a lot of damage coming out on the blue team. They've lost Dunce and Ouija is continuing to spam away. Good shotgun damage to that scout. Mela has been taken out. That scout is at 44 health. And finally, we just taken down Mustard Overlord. Needs to do some re, uh, reloading here. And he is the only one left for his team. Good killer on Sheepy, but it may not matter. Because he's going to... Wow, that was kind of gross. But he's going to have to back away. And there he goes. Dave takes him out. So, the Super Friends have won the middle point. Which you'd kind of expect, of course. Because Super Friends include such luminaries as uh, Superman and Batman and whatever else. So, uh, you know, Wonder Woman all those. So really, I mean, why wouldn't they win the midpoint? got superpowers. Time has um, been added. But there have been quite a few mid-fights this game where they haven't. So I don't know what to say about that. Maybe the Super Friends are just uh -huh. being kind of lazy. Regardless, they've got an Uber advantage now, so they certainly can turn at least one player into Superman, make him completely invulnerable, turn him into a man of steel. And that's what they're going to do right now, bringing in this soldier and demo man. That's going to be Combat Toast, um, giving the Uber to Cooley, and I think that's Dunce there. But they're taken out very quickly, and that Uber... That uh, was just not not a good move. Um, they've lost all but two of their players. Mela's at seven health, and this scout yeah, here, Dave, gonna get taken out very quickly. So that's that is it for that attack. The reason that wasn't a good move, they popped their Uber while they were right about where Ouija is right now in the lobby. Uh, and so by the time they got onto that last point, remember an Uber maximum only lasts eight seconds, and if you have to flash it to multiple players, it's gonna last even less. By the time they got into the last point in a position to deal damage, they only had four seconds of Uber left. Not a lot of time. And they didn't get any damage done with it at all. So as soon as the Uber faded, they were already committed to an attack that they couldn't win. And as soon as the Uber faded, they were just done. They were done for. So Slanted Eyebrows very quickly taking their last or their second point back. They're not in a position to lose this round anytime soon. Ouija took a big hit there from Hooli though. Here comes the Uber from Peyote. 
uh, popping on Mustard Overlord. Going for those air shots, not quite hitting him, so Mustard Overlord, I apologize for uh, not catching your moment of glory there, but good kill on Mela nonetheless. And Combat Toast very close to his 100%. He's gotten it! So now they're going to try and stop the capture on his mid fight. Here comes a nice little bomb there. He's going to probably take out this demo, man. Not a lot Mustard Overlord can really do about that. Yep, he's down. And Peyote, where are you right now? Not in the right location. There you go. So now that he can actually bring his soldier out here, but but it's just him and Ouija. That's a weird decision to make. Yeah, there you go. Got to back up a little bit more. Find your reinforcements, and it may be too late here. Uh, the Super Friends may have taken advantage of their little little positioning problem from the slanted eyebrows. And there you go. They've killed the medic. So huge uber advantage now. But Combat Toast gets taken down as well. The Super Friends may be able to take down the second point. Uh, and if they can do that, then they can force their opponents onto defense on last. And I hope that they can work some sort of advantage because they're not going to have an uber advantage anymore. Good dodging by Mela uh, does help take down Blarf here even as he dies, so good dodging, good damage. Gotta say. Um, I don't wanna don't wanna inflate his ego too much. But that looked good to me. And now uh, the Super Friends as they build the Uber, you'll notice that they're staying really far back here. They don't want to push into the lobby too soon and then lose their medic before he has his Uber ready to go. Um, so they, they waited. Now they've got the Crit Creek, so they're actually going to have it a lot sooner than Peyote, who's probably running the regular Uber. Let's see... Yes, he is. Running that regular Uber. So they're going to get very quickly pushed in here by Huli. Here goes the Crit Sticky, and the first one misses, the second one misses, the third one misses as well, so the Crit's almost done here. They do manage to kill Super x with a Crit Rocket, but that's not a huge deal as he was playing Engineer. Kirby is still on the point. The Uber is popped now for Peyote, so he's going to keep his players alive at the very least. Um, Larf now pushing forward, killing Dave, so Combat Toast has to back up and heal Huli up. But here's the thing, now that the Crit's has been called, they already know it's there. Uh, slanted eyebrows are just, uh, all they have to do is play to the crits creek. So as soon as they think their opponents have the crits ready to go, they just play a little conservative. Up until then, they can be really aggressive because they know their opponents aren't going to have any sort of vulnerability at all. And Combat Toast almost has you ready to go already. So he is, I mean, he's building that nice and fast. Let's find the Huli cam because they're going to use it on Huli. You know, why wouldn't you use a crits creek on a demo man? Crazy, crazy damage. Um, almost there already, and here goes the crits. They're, they're grinding it, so they're grinding it really fast. It's a good thing to do, but they're not getting any kills with it. They haven't found... Oh, nice trap by Mustard Overlord. Yeah, that was that was beautifully predicted by our red demo man here. He may get pressured a little bit by Sheepy and could get killed, uh, but no, he even stays alive. No, he doesn't. Sorry, Mustard Overlord did die. My bad. But no, that was just really incredible play from Slanted Eyebrows. They kept the medic alive. They knew the Crit Creek was coming, and so I mean, of course, they did with the oh, nice air shot from Ouija. <laughs> had to had to had to stop that for that. But no, they they knew what they were doing. Great play from Slanted Eyebrows to to counter that Crit effectively. They've got Uber advantage, and they haven't even had to use it yet. So now, once again, our red team here, Slanted Eyebrows. I mean, they could put this game away this round if they can win it which they should be able to do, then that would be the game. They just need to make sure they can capture the second point and stop their opponents from getting that Uber. Um, good juggle of that scout there. They did kill him, but uh, the Uber is forced here. Oh, look at this! Blue team actually forced into their spawn. Not going to be good for Combat Toast, who did change back to the last point, but he did it in a bad way. He changed back to a different class and then to medics. That's going to be it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Slanted eyebrows win the game. Um, mistakes by both sides, of course. It's ESEA open. You can't expect like the level of ESEA invite. But nonetheless, a very exciting game. And I mean, we saw some great stuff from all these players. So thank you for watching. This has been Salamancer. Slightly inebriated. Do hit the follow button, though, on twitch.tv slash fatmop. Subscribe to youtube.com slash fatmop. Leave a comment to let me know how I'm doing. Leave rates, uh, you know, the thumbs up and all that to let me know how I'm doing as well. Thank you for watching. It's been a GG, and I'm signing out.